Welcome to this section of our course on working with VBA in AutoCAD. This acronym, VBA, stands for Visual Basic for Applications. If you don't see the menu bar, let's expand the Quick Access Toolbar menu flyout and scroll to Show Menu Bar. Now let's go to Tools, scroll down to Macro, and let's select Visual Basic Editor. This is how you interface with Visual Basic from AutoCAD. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning what VBA is and what it can do for you as an AutoCAD engineer. Let's talk a little bit about Visual Basic. It's a Microsoft programming language. If you've never done programming before, this might seem a little intimidating, especially for beginners. The good news is that scripting in Visual Basic is actually quite simple once you get your mind around the basic concepts. After all, you're not so much doing raw programming here, it's more like you're manipulating objects. For this reason, a lot of hardcore programmers don't respect the basic language. Let's take a minute to talk about the basic language. This was developed back in the 1960s. It was a learning tool for programmers. In the 1990s, Microsoft released the first Visual Basic for Windows applications. Today, VBA doesn't have much in common with BASIC, but BASIC is indeed the foundation on which VBA was built. So, let's talk about what VBA can do for you. Basically, it comes down to greater flexibility and greater control over your environment and your projects you're able to create your own custom tools. That's just one example of what VBA lets you do in the AutoCAD environment. It's also worth mentioning that your knowledge of VBA can be applied in many other programs such as Microsoft Access, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, and many other applications. During this course on VBA, I'll be using another abbreviation frequently, API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. And this concludes our introductory tutorial on VBA.